If you play Microsoft Flight Simulator or use it to study, you know that usually what happens is you input your um, departure and your destination airports and the simulator generates a flight plan for you. So that kind of removes um, some of the fun and the realism of the simulator. And I'm going to show you a neat little tool that you can use to make your own flight plans. So the website here is skyvector.com. You should create an account. As you can see, we have VFR charts, um, high and low IFR charts and sectionals and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to the world low IFO ch IFR charts. And we're going to plan a flight between Grand Forks and Mino International, both in the United States. So as you can see up here, because I have an account, I can add information about my aircraft. This is information I pulled from the POH of uh, Cessna Grand Caravan. If you want to pause and copy that down, here it is. So I've got my uh, fuel flows, climb speeds, and stuff like that. Now, this tool has real-world um, wind data. So you could, if you put the time of your takeoff, so about one hour from now, I've set it 0941 Zulu, and the website will pull weather. So I'm going to set my airports here, departure and arrival. And then as you can see, it's generated a pink line. That's our flight plan. The way we add waypoints is by dragging this line. So we know that we have to fly around this TFR. I'm going to fly direct to OPEAT. This airport doesn't have uh, instrument departures. Then I'm going to rejoin this airway around here somewhere. There's a fix. Then I'm going to go to this VOR. And then I know that ORMI, this fix here, is a fix that's present in a lot of instrument approaches for our destination aerodrome. Keep in mind, you can see charts by going here in the departure or the arrival. So let's look, for example, at the RNAV 3.1. We can see that ORMI is um, an, an airway fix for which we can leave direct to Juden, initial approach fix, if we're cleared. When you're playing um, the simulator, the controller will clear you to an approach. You can pause the game, go to this website, and bring up the approach plates. That's why I recommend flying in the US. So we're going west. I've set our altitude as um, flight level 060. We've got the times, and we've got the route. And the important part of this tool here is that we can click nav log. And the tool will generate a nav log. I recommend that we print this out and we're going to insert this into the flight management system inside Flight Simulator. The top of climb is calculated um, using the wind data that you can see here, which is pulled in real time. You should, um, of course, you know, this tool is, you can use it for real flying. Uh, and if you fly in the US, you probably have, but you should know how to calculate top of climb by yourself. Top of descent also, there's uh, ways to calculate it and even in your head. I'll actually post one of those in the description. So print this out and hop into Flight Simulator. Now we are inside the aircraft and I've put us on the runway so that we don't have to configure anything uh, right now. We're going to turn our attention to the MFD of the G1000. By pressing on the flight plan button, or FPL, we can bring up our flight plan window. If we press down on this knob, we can start copying our nav log to the flight management system. Twist the small knob to start writing. The first thing that we want to input will always be our departure aerodrome. In my case, it's Kilo Golf Foxtrot Kilo. Once we've done that, we press the enter key and move on to the next waypoint.
For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to skip a few of these fixes. Ormi is an important fix as it will probably be the point from which we are going to be cleared to an approach. So I'm going to make sure to insert that. After Ormi, I want to make sure that our last waypoint in the flight plan is our destination aerodrome. Kilo, Mike, Oscar, Tango, in my case, and in the flight plan we made previously. With all my waypoints copied, I can close the flight plan window and if we drag the map, we can see that our flight plan is now being displayed on the MFD, meaning that it's been correctly input to the flight management system. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to select an approach. You'll be cleared for, for an approach by the controller when you're arriving. By pressing the procedures button, you can select the approach for which you're cleared and load it. I'm going to select the RNAV-31 with ORMI transition, as that is what I showed you guys at the start of the video. Now if we look at the map, we can see that the approach path is loaded in. Keep in mind that you should enter your cruise altitudes in the flight plan, and once you're cleared for the approach, you can pause the simulator, go back to that website and make sure you have the correct plates. Inputting your approach into the flight management system allows you to use the autopilot to fly the approach and help you um, do everything realistically. I hope that this guide has been helpful and thank you for watching.